Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have swatches to share with you from Rogue Lacquer. This video is featuring four different polishes and they are all customs for various Facebook groups. There are, diff there are three different Facebook groups which I will have linked in the description box for you so you can find them easily and join them if you're not already a member. They are all pre-order and they are available right now in Rogue Lacquer shop which I will also link for you down below. The pre-order will be open through January 31st and then at that time they will be removed from Rogue Lacquer rogue lacquers website as they are limited edition and they will not return so if you love any of these customs be sure to pick them up now through january 31st shipping for the pre-order will commence on january 29th i will hit upon prices and which custom is for which group as we go along i think that covers everything this if anything was confusing leave me a comment down below and i will try my best to clarify for you why don't we go ahead and start the first polish we have is for the Black Hearted Beauties Facebook group. This is called Dark Hearts and Dark Skies and it will sell for $12. It is described as a black jelly with indigo contrasting shimmer and a rainbow of color shifting flakes. This had a wonderful formula. It went on very smooth and very evenly. The flakes come out nice and evenly and they are abundant in this beautiful base. The shimmer is also gorgeous and stands out nicely. The application was flawless. I had no issues, no running, no pulling. I had no staining. This polish will not dry textured and it will not give you any kind of difficulty to remove. My swatches here are showing you three coats and a glossy top coat and then I also have it shown matte because I thought it would look really pretty matte. Also if my nails look a little weird it's not the polish it's just that I have a patch on so they just look a little thicker than they usually do on one of the nails but I'm not going to tell you which just in case. This next polish is for the Lacquered in White Facebook group. It is called Glowing Winter Wood and it is going to sell for $12. It is described as a soft white crelly with a touch of golden to green shimmer with silver hollow microflakes and gold to copper to green color shifting flakes. This polish had a wonderful formula. It does start out a bit sheer on that first coat being that it is a white polish. Most of them do start off pretty sheer, but it is buildable and opaque for me in three coats. The formula was very easy to work with. A lot of times white polishes can be a bit thick and finicky, but such was not the case here. This was a very, very good formula. I had no application issues like running, pulling, or staining. The removal was not textured. If it was, it was very slight, but a glossy top coat made it nice and it was shiny and it will not be difficult for you to remove. This next polish is called Make Me Blush and it is a custom for the Nail Stamping Sisterhood group and it is going to be $12. And it is a rose gold one coater that stamps. This polish, I'm going to show you first off how it's shown swatched in one coat on my nails. I didn't have to go in for a second coat. It had a wonderful formula, very easy to work with for being a one coater. It wasn't thick at all and it is wonderfully sparkly. It is not going to dry textured or be difficult for you to remove at all. I also have it shown here stamped over both black and white so you can get an idea how it looks stamped over darker and lighter colors. Personally, I found I liked it over the black. I thought it gave it a little bit of an extra pop for that sparkle, although it is very sparkly on its own. But first, let's look how it stamps over white. It picked up flawlessly. I didn't have to do anything. It just stamped on and then my stamper picked it up really easily and then it stamped right on the nail. And now I'm going to do it again to just stamp, um, pick it up and then I have it stamped here over the black. I don't know why I did this part, but just... It doesn't need any of that. I think I was just doing it for effect for the camera. And there you have it stamped over black. And then the top coat does just bring it to life a little bit. And it helps add to that sparkle. Personally, I like it topped off. It just makes it a little extra glassy and a little extra sparkly. But again, nothing will be difficult for you to remove. And it is definitely a champion stamper with absolutely no problems. And the last custom is for the same Nail Stamping Sisterhood group, and it is called Rose Gold Sprinkles. And it was inspired by marble, and it is described as a crelly that's packed with rose gold, gold copper, and silver flakes. It is also going to be 
This polish had a wonderful, wonderful formula. It has that standard Corelli formula. The flakes came out in abundance. I didn't have to do any manipulation at all. How you see it is how it came out. So, you know, I did do a little bit because that one wanted to come off my nail, so I just put it back on the top. And I used three coats for full opacity. This one did dry with a slight bit of texture, so of course I would recommend a good glossy top coat. And it was not difficult for me to remove. This one was my absolute favorite. It is just so pretty, and it hits that inspiration right dead on. It is so, so gorgeous, and it will make a beautiful base for a lot of manicures, especially a marble one with a little bit of black stamping going through. I think it will look gorgeous. That wraps up the January customs I have for you from Rogue Lacquer. These are all available right now in her site through January 31st. They are limited edition, so if you love them, be sure to pick them up before the end of the month when they will be gone. I will have Rogue Lacquer's website linked in the description box for you down below. Tell me what your favorite is. Let me know which ones you're going to be picking up. I hope you found this video helpful, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye, guys.